Hi guys, David in Texas here. And what you're looking at, yep, it's another uh, Fender fan with a, a System uh, 1 bridge. A little dirt off this thing. Anyway, it's brought in for setup and clean up. It's a little bit on the rusted up side. Uh, this little baby here is very collectible. Okay, I've got two people now looking at it, thinking about buying it. Only problem is, it doesn't have a locking nut. And, uh, I've been told by both guys that they're very hard to find, so that's why they're hesitating. Of all things, they can't find the locking nut to match, and the guy that owns the guitar says he never had it. That just plain sucks. This little top part here is gone. Uh, personally, I don't know if there's that much difference to it, but it seems that, uh, yes, it would make a difference to the collector. Yeah, the you know the proper one, uh, but you can't buy these. You can't buy replacements for them. But it wouldn't be original. So what we're going to do today is go ahead and set this guitar up, and then send it on its merry way. Since the uh, collectors don't seem to be interested in buying it from the shop, I guess. I gave him the phone number of the owner. Told him it was for sale. He's considering offers on it. And uh, he's willing to uh, take less money for it than it's worth because he realizes that the part's missing. What's really odd about this guitar is half these strings are strung backwards on this guitar. That's kind of odd. You know, let's get these old strings off here. Let's break it off. That was strung backwards too. Perfect. Okay, so I had them thrown backwards and forwards all over the place. Also, which I thought was a plus, is that it's got these nice little uh, updated trees on here for the strings. It's obviously not, you know, 86, but heck, you know, it just helps to uh, keep those suckers in line since this is falling off. Okay, so the next step, guys, is uh, once I clean this body off, get all that extra goo off it, is go ahead and get this uh, neck set up. Man, that neck of that thing has got so crusty with all that dried up linseed oil. That's what happens when you get down to the very last of it, guys. It does get nasty, so I have to clean that up. Try and close again, so I'm going to use the very last bit of this stuff. So we're going to... Clean up this neck, we're gonna erase these frets. And uh, let's get us about 10 minutes to uh, soak in the wood. Okay guys, now remember this is not the uh, system one. This I believe is uh, the uh, second edition of that. It has a little bit of adjustments to it, but still has rollers, that's what attracted people to begin with. But, intonation, cross the nation, is what they wanted and they couldn't get it. Not on the first one they couldn't, on this they had a little better shot at it. Okay. You have to hook the bobbin in there like this. Take that, oh well it's going to do it, yeah. You gotta hook the bobbin in there. Oh God. Let's drop backwards. Alright. That string in there first. Nope, it's not gonna work. Okay guys, hang in there. Okay guys, I'm gonna try to get these strings in there properly. Uh, the problem is I've got a real problem with all this rust on these uh, on these Allens. I mean, they're just solid rust, and I may have a real problem uh, getting them to move again. I mean, it does not look like they've been moved in years, and they may just uh, booger completely out, and they may just snap. And I'll tell you what: the first one that snaps, that's it for me. But he wants his guitar set up, so I gotta try something on this. So I'm using uh, three in one oil, and I want that soak in there. 
and see if I can't get this thing to move. So I've got it back uh, tuned up and strung up. But the problem is, uh, as always with these guitars, is that uh, you can't adjust the height without uh, moving the strings. You know, that was probably problems with the uh, intonation as well. It just, you know, <laughs> the rollers were a great idea, but try to adjust the, uh, the action. You gotta do it one time and leave it alone. Uh, and the biggest problem with this guitar is that the, uh, the nut on top is loose and it's the wrong size for this guitar. It doesn't fit it. So that's never going to work. And uh, I'm not going to glue it. Uh, I think that's a bad idea. Uh, I'll let the owner do that. But you should probably screw it down is the way it should be done. Screw it into place, but uh, that's up to him. Not to me, this is a setup, not a repair job. And I don't have the, I don't have the right screws to put that in there either. Uh, so you'll never be able to tune it, keep it in tune. You won't be able to play it because the nut's gonna move all over the place, it's slick. But, uh, you know, if you're to set this up right, set this up here right, okay? Simply screw this down in place, make sure it's in the right position. Then screw it down with a couple of screws, a couple of wood screws that would, counter, would fit the countersink in this. And that would hold it in place. Uh, you can still play this guitar, it's playable. Uh, if you play it very lightly right now, you can still play it. Uh, let's see about this. Let's, let's uh, put the amp on and see what happens. Okay, guys, uh, the first time I played this, I played it for a guy in California on Skype so you could hear what it sounded like. Right? So it's way out of tune right now. But all the pickups work on it, right? Splitter works on it too for the uh, other part. The uh, one knob on it's missing its top and, it's, and the uh, potentiometer is broken. But uh, it was playing, it was in tune, it played, guys, okay? And it plays all pickups. All right, so there's no, no problem there. <laughs> so it's working, okay, and it does sound good. Uh, for as old as it is, it's got good sound pickups. They're very strong, they're very clean and clear. Uh, the uh, singles are very sharp, very brassy. And the uh, humbucker, very full sounding guys. And the uh, splitter on it does work, okay? So, uh, with the exception that it's not in tune, obviously, and I'm not gonna try to tune it because I'll end up breaking strings on this thing. I don't wanna do that. I want the owner to go ahead and tune it himself, let him break them, <laughs> and uh, go from there. But. Uh, very, very old guitar in pretty good shape. It needs a new uh, nut. It needs the original nut that goes on it. It needs some work down here to repair a few broken things. And uh, the broken five-way switch is uh, bent. And uh, it works, but it's bent. You could use some new screws that are not rusted on it. And uh, I just treated the uh, adjustable allens for rust on it. Okay, so you can intonate it, okie dokie. But, uh, as far as right now, it's not worth it today because the nut moves around too much and it needs to be fastened permanently. So, that's it in a nutshell, guys. Uh, any questions, give me a holler, David, Texas. Bye.
Hi guys, David Tex here. What we're looking at is that nice little fender system bridge again. It's a system two, not a one. The second one I've worked on in three months. Unbelievable. Now, it doesn't have that special weird ass capo looking nut on it. We couldn't get one to fit it, okay? So, uh, we're just gonna go with what we got. Uh, what do you think about the work we did for your guitar? It's awesome, it's playing a lot smoother. Um, feels good, new strings definitely feel great. It plays really well, plays a lot better, and strings aren't moving around because this nut's fixed, so that's cool. Cool, cool. Those frets, we did we did erase them to make sure it was nice and smooth on you. Good. Make it be able to pull them, okay? Yep. Now, introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Trevor Crawford. Uh, I play in my basement, mostly. I uh, just uh -huh. kind of play for me. I lead some worship for some live groups and stuff like that, but cool. just kind of play and jam in my basement. And this is Noah. Hey, Hi Noah. Noah. He's a future, future guitar expert. Um, we got him his first little bitty future guitar. video game expert. Oh, we'll video see. game. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. <laughs> okay, let's hear what your guitar, guitar sounds like on clean. Wow. That's a beautiful tone. Okay, cool. Uh, do me a favor, put that on the uh, high gain on the red. A little bit further, one more twist, one more twist. That's it. Now, let's hear some crazy stuff. Oh, crazy stuff. I don't know crazy stuff. Give it a twist. Uh, let's see. Go for it. Guys, uh, Dave in Texas, uh, any questions, give me a holler. Bye. Say bye, guys.